I'm criminally underrated with the words, that's my context. You get the concept, don't call me conscious just cause I object to objects. Being at the forefront, motherfucking obstacle, homie, do what you gotta do. Even if I gotta take an LA, I ain't dodging you or the rest your imposter crew. If you was being you, then me being me wouldn't bother you. The game needs this. This just ain't for me, but I gotta pay these loans off. This just ain't for free, man. Fuck Trump, I resist the system faithfully. It's 2017, but prisons still look like slavery. Yo, this is Marlon Kraft, and you watching This Is 50.com. Yo, what's good? It's DJ Thoreau, a.k.a. Thoreau Zano, the bridge to the streets. Right now, you're watching the hottest in the streets right here on thisis50.com. Special guest in the building. Introduce yourself. Yo, what's up, man? It's Marlon Kraft from Hell's Kitchen, New York. Marlon Kraft! Marlon Kraft. Yes, where'd, that, where'd that name come from? Uh, Marlon is my real name, okay. uh, my real first name. Kraft came from, actually, in high school. Uh, I used to play ball. But I, and I was nice, but I wasn't like super fast. I couldn't jump super high. Like I was a shoot, like well, typical white, white guy shit. Jump, yeah, typical, <laughs> what you would, typical like white, stereotypical white guy game. <laughs> but one day I was playing, I was killing, and like the older homies was like, yo, like they were talking shit, like, yo, you're not shit, da da. But I kept scoring, and they were like, uh, and I was like, see, I'm fast, like whatever. And they were like, nah, nah, you crafty, you crafty, crafty. you crafty. And then like the same week I went to school. And I did like some slick shit. I forget what it was, but it's some slick shit. I got out of trouble or something, and one of my homies was like, yo, that was crafty, like da da. So it was like, it was like that shit happened like too close together, and I was like, maybe that's kind of like my thing. And so when it was like people started calling me crafty a little bit. Right. And then when it was time to pick a rap name, I was just like, you know, Marlon Craft. And I felt like it makes sense because it's like, you know, I emphasize the craft of the craftsmanship of rapping and emceeing right. and shit. So. Okay. I mean. But before we get into it, um, I want to shout out. A dear friend of mine that brought me to your attention, uh, Money Nels. Yeah, yeah. Nelson, good Shout guy. Shout out to Money Nels. Nels. Shout out to Money Nels, and I publicly want to say, Money Nels is the reason why I'm up here on this platform. Oh, dope. Because he's always looking out for artists, DJs, and people with talent. Because you know I got talent. Right? Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> you here. I'm here. Yeah. That's why I'm here, in case you want to know. I got talent, motherfucker. Exactly. That's why the fuck I'm up here. All right, I bet. exactly. But anyway, shout out to Nels, man. He's always, you know, looking out for up and coming talent yeah. and new artists, and just he just try to put new people on to keep the culture evolving. How did you link up with him? Because one thing he don't do, he don't fuck with any and everybody. Yeah, so you yeah. must be special. How did that meeting with Nelson happen? Uh, well, the thing with Nels was uh, my my homie, like my like my right hand man Kenny, uh, was cool with him through his job. He knew him, he knew him for a while. And so he was like, he had hit him about me, like, you know, like Kenny hits everybody about me for years, you know what I'm saying, always. So I was on, I guess like he followed me on Instagram mm -hmm. and because of that, and I was on his radar. Um, and he saw a video that we put out recently uh, called Brainiacs, and he just really fucked with it. And he just hit me, and then he was like, yo, I've been watching some of your stuff, whatever. We linked up, and then um, he came through, he came through to the crib and like listened to a bunch of records, and he's just, just fuck with me, so he's been supporting, so that's been a blessing, because like you said, you know, he knows his shit, you know what I'm saying? He's right. he's a legend out here. He's a legend out here, and, yeah. and, and, and if he's guiding you or even associating with you, yeah, yeah. you're gonna do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something's gonna happen, Yeah, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. Something's dead, and it's gonna be positive. Yeah, yeah, for you know? sure. Definitely. So, musically, where'd you get your start from? Um, I started, I mean, I just growing up in New York, like I was just submerged in hip hop from when I was mad young. Mm -hmm. I grew up actually like, on, like a lot of people listen to my music, a lot of it's like lyrical and I, sometimes I hop on like old boom bap beats. So people think I grew up listening to like the classic shit, like the 90s shit, but actually I grew up on like G-Unit and 50 Cent and cause I was, I was in middle school, you know what I'm saying? It was like the Get Rich or Die Trying, Beg mm -hmm. for Mercy days. Mm -hmm. You know, it was like G-Unit, Dipset, fucking like, uh, Lil Wayne was God back then, right. you know what I'm saying? You know, so it was like, it, yeah, was, shit, was. it, was, shit, it was shit like that, you know? So um, I, grew, I grew up on all that stuff and I was always like a writer. Um, I used to write just poems and I was just always good at writing or whatever. And for me, it just started as like a coping mechanism. Like I was just like fucking depressed or anxious or whatever. And so I would just start writing and the way it came out was in bars because I was always listening to hip hop. Right. And then I got, uh, I ended up going to college in DC. And when I was there, I was just like, Bro, this shit is not for me. Like this, like this shit is like whack. I'm not fucking with the people. I was good at school, but what I was just. What school did you go to? I went to American University. American University. Yeah. Okay. And I was just like, bro, this is not what I'm about. And what I kept turning to was the music, was mm -hmm. making music, and I realized like this is something that I like have to do, not something that I just like want to do. Mm -hmm. So from there, it just became more and more serious, and and here we are now. Right. Now, um, whenever there's a white rapper come out. Automatically, people want to go Eminem, yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah. like 
was was Eminem influential? On yeah, of course. Okay. But uh, and I, I, I don't assume that. No, no, no. Why, yeah, yeah. Right. No, I, I mean, that, I think right. you know, like, I mean, when I like the Eminem show was one of the first projects I got into heavy, just because he was amazing at that time. Everything he was putting out was golden, and um, and for me too, I related to it. Like, I when I was hooping and playing ball. Like I was, I was always in Harlem, South Bronx. I was like the only white dude in the situation. You used to go to the record. I played, yeah, yeah. I played oh. for Riverside. I played for the church. Oh, you played for Riverside. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, my son played baseball up there. Okay, yeah, in yeah, Riverside. yeah, yeah. Okay. And I, I used to coach there too okay. for a minute when I was older. But um, so yeah, so I, I was all over, and I was like the only white guy in all these spaces. So as a young kid, then seeing Eminem being like the only white guy, whatever, mm -hmm. I think I related to that in a simple way. Right. Um, and also the shit was just tight. Like the Eminem show was crazy. No, he's dope. Out, you know what I'm saying? He's, all that. He's dope. So so yeah, but. I mean, you know, that's, I feel like that's the easy comparison that people make a lot of times, but obviously, like, I'm different than him in a lot right. of ways, you know what I mean? Right. Well, um, white people, whatever, have always been a part of hip hop. Like exactly, you, yeah, yeah. You have the Beastie Boys. Like, yeah, or even, you got Search, you Search. know what I'm saying? No, no, like, I, was get, I, was, I was getting there. Yeah, 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 my fault, my fault, my fault. I know my stuff. I know, my yeah, stuff, yeah, I, know, I, know. <laughs> I was getting there. I'm just trying to show up, okay. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got you. You're trying yeah, to let me know yeah, you know yeah, too, yeah. right? I got you. But yeah, especially in New York, like we had the Beastie Boys. It was yeah. it was always dope. And ironically, we had another group called the Young Black Teenagers. I don't know if you're familiar with them. Nah, nah. Yeah, we had a, it's, it's, we had white a, dudes. They were white dudes, but they were called the Young Black Teenagers. That's that's yeah. That's <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look it up. They had a song yeah, called Twist the Bottle. And I Cap gotta the check Cap, that out. Cap Twist the Bottle. I gotta check that out. Check that out. Yeah. They're called the Young Black Teenagers, I'm, I'm but they were all white. Yeah, yeah. That's New York City. Yeah. I gotta see that. Yeah. So <laughs> we historically we've always. You know, you've been pumping them out. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah. That's, a, that's New York culture. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't, I don't. It's just, it's not a surprise to me when I right, see right, 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 right. Because that's that's our culture. Right, know? right. Of course, De yeah, def yeah. definitely our culture. But do you feel that being a white rapper is an advantage or disadvantage? Uh, well, so in, in terms of trying to make it. No, yeah, no, nah, yeah. So I mean, I think ultimately just being a white person in America is always an advantage, right? Like we I'm have- I'm glad he admitted that. <laughs> it, like we have- a, we See just, that he admitted yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, right? <laughs> no, nah, it's nah, real it's shit, real you know what I'm saying? Like we, I just, as of just, just to start off in any field as a white dude, just have a ton of privileges and advantages on the backs of other people. Right. But, uh, you know, so in, in hip hop specifically, I, I think that's true also, but I think starting out, uh, sometimes it's tough. Like, you know, sometimes people, I guess, and it, sometimes it's not a white thing, it's like a how you look thing also. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like Action Bronson or something like that is like, I guess, white. Even though he's Albanian, New York right. motherfuckers know Albanians is a little different, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like regular white, <laughs> yeah. white people. I, I love my shouts to Albanians. But yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Like people don't think of it, but it's like, I am I'm i don't look like the, like I guess what people think of a rapper. So so people judge you for that immediately, immediately off top. It's off always top. a thing. Right. Um, but then it could also be an advantage, you know? Like I've had, you know, a lot of videos you know, go go viral and get attention because people want to hear it because they're like, see the image first and they're like, who the fuck, fuck is, is this about a rap? It, so and then it's like, man. oh shit, he's nice. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So that's an advantage. And then eventually when you get, uh, when you, when I, as I continue to get bigger, you see like the Eminem effect and all these people, it's like, I'm obviously going to get a bunch of fans that I don't really even deserve like that just because it's like, oh, he looks like me. Like people all the time, yo, I don't really listen to hip hop, but like but you, you know, it's like, all right. Or like you you and Macklemore are my favorite rappers, right. bro. You and get I'm that. like, it is yeah, what right. it is. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And it is what it is. So for me, it's like, you know, so obviously there's a lot of advantages. I think the disadvantages right. are like, you know, uh, just judgment and like hesitance sometimes for people to like get involved or associate right. their brand. But for me, I just try to take those advantages and try to use them for good and speak on right. issues that are important and, and get in the ear of those kids that's gonna listen to me just because I'm white and make them hear some shit that they wouldn't normally hear because right. it's coming from someone like I, me. I now. feel you because I get, I get girls coming to me all the time. They're like, I don't listen to DJs, but you're so cute. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I hear you. That's real, I'm, I'm being honest. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true, but anyway, <laughs> that's true. You don't believe me, ask your girl. I'm yeah. But anyway, so speaking of um, social topics and you know things that, that go on in role, you, musically, where are you at range? You, you, do you speak on on like race related issues or, you, or these political issues or you just yeah, straight yeah. bars? Where are you at in the spectrum of style wise? No, I speak on all that stuff, man. And I mean, I just think it's important. And I think as a white dude in hip hop, like if you know, we have to be aware of those th of 
like, cause I'm a, I'm a white dude in the black culture. And right. so I can't just take from that. I have to also contribute with my voice, my awareness of issues affecting Somebody black Somebody raised community. you right, man. No, I got good parents, you know what I mean? Parents, shout out but, to your parents, man. <laughs> but also it's the city, man. New York, New York really there, raised yes. me, you know right. what I'm saying? So, so growing up here, but, it, but, it, but, you know, so I feel like it's my responsibility and, and, you know, my duty to like, you know, speak on these things and be aware of these things. And also I just care about these things, you know what I'm saying? Like I genuinely, you know what I'm saying? It's not right. like this is my duty, like I gotta do it so I can check the box. It's like this shit is really like stuff that I right. think is like these are, you know, important right. things, you know what I mean? All right. Your top five rappers of all, all time that you that you like from your, from your oh, man. opinion. I always fuck this question up. Can't I, fuck it up. Yeah, it's, it's, but it's, I'm a, it's, it's who you like. Right. Who do you like? So so not who I yeah, like yeah. or they like. Who do you like? Your so top five. like in no order, mm -hmm. I like Nas, uh, Jay. I'm with you already. Big. <laughs> I'm sold. <laughs> uh. Probably Eminem might is still hey, he, in there. He should be I, in there. Eminem yeah, is worth yeah, like, I, he, yeah. he gotta be in there. Uh, Eminem. And then probably, uh, probably Black Thought. Wow! But to be, but to be. That name has been coming up a lot. Yeah. I'm gonna cut you I, off. We and him are kind of cool too. Yeah? I met, yeah, I met him oh, a couple man. times. And he just aired out this song, Flex Freestyle. I was yeah, just he, talking about that. He went that. crazy. And it's a whole new standard of what dope is now. Nah, he went crazy. He went crazy. He went crazy. Shout but out he, to Black Thought. He's been going crazy. Yeah, you know he's been going saying? crazy yeah, since yeah, the 90s. Yeah. But he, he really went crazy. Yeah, yeah. He went but then, crazy. And then, you know, of course, Pac, like, I already see, like, the thing with Pac is probably, like, one of my favorite, like, human beings of all time but to be honest like as a new york kid right. growing up east coast like whatever i didn't listen to the music that much like the music didn't hit me the same way to where like i was going through those records over and over again just honestly mm -hmm. but i know whenever i leave if i leave him out motherfuckers is gonna be like <laughs> you know you know you yeah, know, know, know but, I mean, but so most influential most right. important person like you know what i'm saying but it's just personal taste wise for MCing and shit is right. you know probably no i get it because everybody's top five is not everybody's top five right, my right. favorite rapper of all time over everybody is Big L. Yeah, that's yeah. That's who I like. That's He's close in there right. too. That's He's like honorable I like. mention for Big sure. L. Hell yeah, 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 Big L. And if you if you listen, Eminem has mentioned him. I take, speak oh, yeah. a little bit of Pac and Big L. He he referenced himself as being mixed with Big L and Pac yeah. and Biggie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eminem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, you know, this, so nah, he, that, he's, that, that tells you the influence he had. He just didn't get the mainstream success. Oh, and I'm so, I'm sorry to cut you off. Mm -hmm. I, I, I can't. I've left this person out because we was talking about all these influences and stuff. Kendrick Lamar Kendrick is Lamar. my favorite rapper of all time. Okay. I think he's the I think he's the Michael Jordan of rap to be. To right. Be I mean, that's your opinion. He's yeah, dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's dope. So, so I, 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 I can't far, leave that out. But he's yeah. <laughs> no, but you feel me? Because it's like. It's like Jordan was in that era. He was right. in the perfect pocket where he could play in any era. Right, you right. You feel me? Like now, Kendrick is dope. You know, he's, he's one hundred percent dope. Yeah, yeah. And that, 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 and that's that, that's your goat. That's your goat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. That's your goat. That's mine. That's mine. Yeah. Yeah. he could be someone's goat. I can see him being someone's right, goat. Right, right, right. Is what I'm saying. Right, right, right. Maybe not of all time, but yeah, 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 I can yeah, see yeah. him being someone's goat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do we have out right now that people can refer to? What you What are you promoting now? Song goes. Uh, right, right now, right now? Um, I got this project called The Tunnel's End. Um, okay. It's on all platforms, streaming, iTunes Store, all that. Um, Quiet as it's kept, it debuted number two behind Jay Z on iTunes Damn. Um, in the U.S. Number eight overall. You know what I'm saying? But you know how it goes in this in this industry. They don't always talk about you when you do pop and shit. Right. But um, <laughs> you know, but uh, you pop this color right there. You didn't see that, right? But uh, but nah, nah. <laughs> it's it's a it's a body of work. And then I'm working on uh this EP series. Man, that's gonna be coming out this year. Ton of ton of new stuff. So you know, Marlincraft.com, You can find all my shit and all my music, all my videos and all right. that. Right. All right. So check this out. Like I said, I was speaking with Nelson, and he was like raving, ranting, and raving about you. Like, yo, this kid is dope. <laughs> you gotta hear him. I'm gonna fuck with him. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do oh, that. Dope. He's crazy with it. You gotta hear him rap. Da 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 da. He just went on and on and on and on, yeah, man. Yeah. So I said, you know what, Nels? Get him up here. Get him up here right now. Word. Get his ass up here right now. <laughs> damn it. So with that being said, I got this segment on my show. It's called On The Spot. Uh -huh. You know what that means? Which you want some bars? Or yeah, something? I want some bars. That means yeah, you're yeah, on yeah. the spot. But hold on, hold on. So it's no pressure. You could do something off the top. Uh -huh. You could do a written. Okay. Or you could do a song. Okay. No pressure. Right, I'll get Just you do, some, yeah, do yeah. something. Do something. Just what I need you to do is look into that camera and All impress right. the hell out of these people. <laughs> That's what I need you to Are do. You ready? I'm ready. All Let's right. go. To be greatest, to be hated, that's just how the shit goes. 
Cause when you watch someone be brave is when your cowardice shows If you doubt you could go where that man travels alone So as I walk this lonely road I watch you pout like a hoe I can see the bitch in you Listen you can't distract from the mission you wish and you had the vision You minuscule what you finna do Cause when you hate on what you feel compelled to listen to And think the problem isn't you You a delusional individual homie So shout out to all these simple dudes who give fuel for my interludes Fuck you without a hint to lube The real got me they know I'm the truth they seen it You think my show's whack the way all the people be leaving Rappers claim they bust but that ain't the way it be seeming I just go and action lies all the shit that I be dreaming. No one backing me. They got teams of orthopedists and couldn't be half as genius as half the shaft of my penis, dickheads. The world in strife, we losing hope and coping's getting hard. If we don't treat the wounds and soon we'll all be getting scars. So I ain't really consumer who got the better bars. They gone point at me, but shit, I got these points to get across. Like be just who you are. I don't care what they say. Shit, you could be black, white, Spanish, Muslim, beige, gay. Love is love and trust. That fuckery's always fuckery. I've known people of every creed that have disgusted me. So I don't care about the surface. See, I ain't content until I see the Content. I'm criminally underrated with the words, that's my context You get the concept, don't call me conscious Just cause I object to objects Being at the forefront, motherfucking obstacle Homie, do what you gotta do Even if I gotta take an LA I ain't dodging you or the rest your imposter crew If you was being you, then me being me wouldn't bother you The game needs this This just ain't for me, but I gotta pay these loans off This just ain't for free, man Fuck Trump, I resist the system faithfully It's 2017, but prisons still look like slavery So we got a lot of work Ain't no time to rock a jerk I'm trying to figure how to teach kids what they gotta learn oh. shit so everything else is just a distraction so my rhymes well crafted who killed it well crafted Woo! i'm a, I'm a bar catcher i caught that rapper said he'd be busting but that ain't how it be seeming yeah yeah you know. I caught, i'm a bar catcher <laughs> that was crazy down alone right there <laughs> did you hear good what looking. he said good looking good looking did y'all hit up you didn't catch that come on catch up man. <laughs> catch up that was crazy i appreciate who it who wrote man. that mess with <laughs> <laughs> that's bad funny I'm messing with you. So listen, before we get out of here, man, how can people follow you? I'm sure you're gonna get a lot of people hitting you up right now. Yeah, man. Especially girls, but if you get too many girls, I'm just sending them to me and I'll filter them through yeah, you. Man. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah, you know, we'll send, them, we'll send them your way. <laughs> yeah, send them my way. Man, Take care of them. It's <laughs> Marlon Craft on Instagram, at Marlon Craft on Twitter, at Marlon Craft NY, uh, Facebook, M Craft Music, uh, all that shit, man. Marlon Craft, Google it, YouTube it. Uh, yeah, man. All right. Before you, I want you to um, answer this question. It's a ton of rappers doing what you're doing, right? Yeah. Why should they listen to Marlon Craft? Because Marlon Craft is only Marlon Craft. You know, kind of like we were talking about earlier. I have a unique perspective from really being a true, like, child of this city and seeing all different types of people and growing up in the city and going to college and... You know, I just have a unique perspective. Being a white dude and like, you know what I'm saying? But but in different spaces, I think I have unique perspective on, mm -hmm. on things that are important um, that you can't get anywhere but from my brain. You know what I'm saying? Right. So if you fuck with it, you fuck with it. If you don't, you don't. But it is, it's a fresh take. <coughs> you know right. what I mean? All right. Well, listen, I want to wish you much success. Appreciate it, man. Keep dealing with Nelson. Yeah, That's yeah. That's the guy. Sure. That's my guy. Shout out to Money Nels. Shout out to Money Nels. Nels, you owe me 30% of your income for this for this, for this <laughs> input, you know, for that, for that shout out now. <laughs> <laughs> So that's what it is, man. Marlon Craft, man. Look him up. Check him out. Support him. Support who support you. Yes, sir. DJ Thoro. This is 50.com. Hottest in the streets. And like always, when you see us, one knee us. That means pay your respects. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>